Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Supposedly, some of us live in the free world, and supposedly, some of them do not live in the free world. They live in a uh, not so free world. Well, in uh, this article that I have right here, that I'm going to discuss, has to do with the freedom of the press and freedom of speech. My right to know which is my right to have, as an adult, access to information, obviously, which is not top secret or confidential information that I have nothing to touch, you know what I mean? I should be able to access whatever information I want and form my own opinion as a free man of whatever a situation, a circumstance is. I do not agree with other people, other human, free humans, hu free people, to decide what I, another free person, should be allowed to hear, to see. They have the same right as I am. I should, my right to have access to media, to information, should not be infringed by others. Others should not have the power to do that to me. What am I talking about? I, if I have the right to be an idiot, I have the right to be an intelligent guy, I have the right, the right to be an ignorant, I have the right to be a knowledgeable person. That's my right. And uh, unfortunately, nobody should prevent me from doing that. I have to go to school to about a certain level and from there, bye-bye. Your propaganda should stop. Or at least I can pick and choose whatever I read and I should have access to that. What happens here? We're told that the United States and the free world, which is the European Union, European countries, and countries that would like to be uh, members of this, uh, you know, NATO and um, the European Union, which is the free world. I'm put, setting aside, you know, Australia, New Zealand, you know, uh, uh, how do you call it, Japan, okay, or South Korea. I'm not talking about those guys. Why? Because I'm going to use the Republic of Moldova which supposedly we all say that she, uh, she, <laughs> it's a democratic country, it's this and that, and we should find a fast track for Republic of Moldova to be a member of NATO and the uh, European Union. Why? Because we can do it. Well, let me give you this article, and uh, I disagree totally with what they did. And it's not because they do this to the, this party. Because if you do it to one person or one entity, you can do it to that one, to that one, to you, to me. That's how it goes. Once that happens, it can happen to anyone. So, let's see what's going on here. Remember, the Republic of Moldova is not at war with any country. This article comes from Reuters, from uh, December 16th, 2022. Moldova to temporarily ban six TV channels over broadcasts about war. If you would hear Iran doing such a thing, or Russia doing such a thing, how would you call, how would you hear these guys talking about that? Eh, not free world, we are the free world. Well, Moldova wants to be part of the free world. And this is something that it seems like it's a-okay. Why? Because probably, I didn't read this article, probably they will ban Russian mass media. Okay? And right now, everything that's Russian, because that's not a free world, should be infringed. All right? So, Kishinev, the small ex Soviet state. It's been Soviet state from um, 1940 until 1991, I think. All right, or about that. Before that, all Moldova's history was not Soviet. And from uh, 1991, all right, 2001, 2011, 2021, that's 30 years. So 40, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So 30 years, it was a free country, right? After 50 years, it was under the the Soviet Socialist uh, blah 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 of Soviet Union. Before that, it was part of Romania 
and it was independent and whatever, okay? So now, they make sure that we know that those 50 years dictate exactly what uh, Republic of Moldova is per Reuters, okay? That's exactly with, uh, as it is with the uh, Roman salute. Because some idiots used a symbol or an, um, a gesture for about what? Uh, 15 years? 20 years? That Roman salute that was used, I don't know, 1,200 years or something like that? That is done. All 1,200 years means zero for the Roman salute because some idiots used it for something bad, not something bad. They picked it. It's not like, oh, in the name of the Roman salute, we're going to do this. They used it for 15 years, 20 years. It's like someone uses the cross to kill some people and all of, all of a sudden, cross is, has a bad connotation from now on, let's say. And uh, <laughs> we can use that uh, argument, okay? But this is how this guys, the small ex-Soviet state, no, the ex-Romanian territory taken by Stalin and given to Soviet Union. How about that? And part of it, the south of south part, the southern part of Moldova given to Ukraine by Stalin. So how about that? Why don't we say that? Oh, because this is free mass media, they inform us. So the small ex-Soviet state of Moldova will temporarily ban six television channels for airing, and I'm quoting, incorrect information. <laughs> really? Because in the United States and in the free world, the mass media never broadcast, broadcasted uh, um, incorrect information. Never. Okay, so that's bullshit from the get-go. About the country and Russia's war in Ukraine, authorities said on Friday. On Friday. Remember, Moldova is not at war with Russia. They would change things. In the name of fighting the war against the enemy, we do not agree with the propaganda. I understand that. Moldova is not at war. The channels, some of which broadcast in Moldovan and some in Russian, are closely tied to uh, political and businessman Ilan Shor, who fled in 2019 after the election of pro-Western President Maya Sandu. I wonder why he fled. The pro-Western uh, Maya Sandu, who is a pro-Western, you know what I mean? Why, did, why would he run away? Were the guys looking to give him some roses? Or maybe a, I don't know, package with something, boom. Or maybe simply knock at his door and get him out, outside of the town. I mean, sure, in exile in Israel. <laughs> so this gentleman, uh, the politician and businessman, he's a Jewish, right? He, in exile in Israel. He ran away in Israel, like many do that. Or London. Abramovich is an example and others, has backed protest in Chisinau demanding that Sandu's government resign. Well, you can do that, can't you? If you can't you? I think you can. Right? Protest, support protesters. Soros does that all the time with his open society NGO. No? Yeah, just to give you an example. The ban will start on December 19th and last for the duration of state of emergency that Moldova declared after Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24th. So the weasels are on, under a uh, state of emergency. Great, great. So then what? We can infringe how many uh, rights we want. But why only these guys? Like they say, I found many, many articles coming from Ukraine with incorrect information. I came across articles now coming from Western uh, mass media with some incorrect information. So they try to sterilize uh, the information and give us what they is approved to be, uh, I don't know, correct at that time. Anyway, the six channels include some of the most popular in Moldova. Shore owns three of them. Another two belong to his close associates, while the sixth sympathizes with him. And I'm quoting, Moldova must be protected. No, no, that, no. That is, the free people of Moldova must be protected by other free people not to have the wrong idea or to make the choices of whatever they want to hear and whatever opinions they want to have. Moldova must be protected from propaganda and lies. Deputy Prime Minister Andrei Spinu wrote on his telegram, this is a tyrant. 
He's telling us that he's protecting us since he's gonna make sure that we don't listen to the lies that he determines they are lies. Someone else determines those are lies. And since they are very honest over there, all the people, they're different. They're not like us, you know, like all of us, you know, we have, you know, we sometimes lie, we sometimes cheat, we sometimes do this, cut corners, slackers. No, no, they are perfect and they will make sure that we get only the correct, true information. The six channels, he said, had covered Moldova in the war in a biased and manipulative manner. Did you read uh, the United States me uh, media, my boy? Moldova has re repeatedly condemned the invasion. Bilateral ties are also strained by the presence of Russian peacekeeping troops in Moldova's breakaway Transnistria region. TV6, one of the channels owned by Shore, the guy who's in Israel, I can't run in Israel. I can't uh, uh, go and ask for a refugee uh, in Israel just because I want. Unless I prove I have <laughs> dual citizenship or something. Anyway, maybe you can. I don't know. But it's uh, something that I've been very keen on observing. That's why this guy who, uh, who screwed up people with uh, cryptocurrency, the guy that was in, uh, uh, arrested in Bahamas. Remember the guy? He's Jewish. I wonder he, if he, he was not able to whistle his way, way out to Israel and then bye bye, ciao ciao. But it's not too late. You don't believe me? Check his bio. He was in IT, right? Check his parents, check the other one, his ex girlfriend, the mathematician. Again, the same kind. Not a coincidence. I'm pretty sure it's just coincidence. So, what I mean, are you, are you, uh, are you, uh, how do you call it, uh, <laughs> singling them out? No, I'm just observing the obvious and I'm informing you. Is that a fact? Yes. Should I be banned for stating a fact? I think so, under this kind of circumstances, because I'm manipulating with facts. Anyway, so the channel has never, that's impossible, received any comments about its coverage of EVE or events related to the war. The Commission's decision is illegal. This is an unprecedented attack of freedom of speech, it said in a statement. Sure. Okay, well. You have the right to uh, shut the hell up and stay there because they uh, will do whatever they want. You see, sure is uh, kosher, Zelensky is kosher, Zmihal is kosher. What's going on? There was a little party there. Is Maya Sandu kosher? <laughs> I don't think so. Moldova, initially in, in initial 60 day state of emergency, has been renewed several times and is due to expire in February 2023. You gave them a finger, they take the whole hand. What I'm upset with, I'm upset with other people deciding what I'm allowed to hear. I mean, for God's sake, I watch, uh, how do you call it? Uh, I don't watch, but people watch science fiction movies. You watch movies. Those are lies. Those are, you know, they are lies. It's just for entertainment purposes. Okay. Take the articles if you want. Take the articles. Take the mass media. And you, you, I mean, I don't have to tell you that these guys are, you know, telling you what they want you to, uh, they're just upset that they have competition in their propaganda. That's what it is. All right. But I think it should be my right as a dumbass to uh, be propagandized because do you think that I know everything I know was vetted? Do you think that when I go to school and they tell me in the history class this, or they tell me in the biology class or in the anthropology class, this and that? Do you think that I'm like, yeah, I take that and it takes I know, 20 years after you read again to figure out, hey, that was a lie. Oh, that was a lie in college. Hey, they lied to me. And why? For ideological reasons and political reasons. So, you know, uh, let us be dumb if, you, if, if we want. The problem is you're afraid that those guys are better than you at propaganda. That's what it is. And you want to stay in power and you, you have monopoly. That's what it is. No, man. As I sometimes they, uh, I read a title, you know, a headline in a news and they say, well, uh, that airplane fell or whatever was hit by another one, but something. I want to see that. It was, it was on camera. They don't show it. I want to see that and many other things. A body was found uh, mutilated or something. Else. If I have that craziness to look at it, don't buy it from me. I talk about, uh, how do you call it? Uh, uh, you know, that oh, it's privacy and all that. I understand cer certain, certain things like this, but things that happen in public, you have the right to videotape them. Can you distribute them? I don't know. But 
I don't like to be I don't like intermediaries because intermediaries are not necessarily good people most definitely are like all of us and we have ups and downs you know what, whenever, you know what I mean I want I to be able to de uh, determine what I want to see and if I'm allowed I want the information to be there I want the book to be on the shelf I don't want someone else to say no that book should not end up in Emil's shelf or that book should not be in the in the library when Emmy goes over there to get a book no someone decides that I should not have that information why because there's some misinformation or something uh, it's like you have a, 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 um, I don't know, a science book from I don't know uh, 50 years or 80 years certain things over there are already changed no found out that that's wrong why they're gonna burn those those books no certain theories wrong with time some others were, were discovered and that that could apply better than that one what are you gonna do with those books with those intellectuals with those scientists are you gonna what put them in in jail or something you, I'm not supposed to read that book because that was wrong or they have to say hey the theory Emil that you read in this book is wrong okay so just make sure like in the movies hey the representation when you watch a movie that was made 20 30 years ago and somehow it's politically incorrect and offensive then now they want to write certain things down around hey this is the picture of racist depiction of this this is a xenophobic depiction of this this is a homophobic depiction of this this is what the fuck and that's the free world yeah give me the information but you know to bar it to hide it from me whatever it is you're not the holder of truth all right you're not I'm talking about these guys who try to do that to us yeah we live in a free world my thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just